Hi there, this is Jensen Charnell with Inventec Marine Solutions, builders of life-proof boats. Today, we're gonna to be talking about trailers. This is a very important piece of equipment to select for your boat. I mean, if you're gonna buy a boat that's this important to you and your family, and you're gonna to have to move it to and from the water, you're gonna to wanna to have a good trailer underneath it. These trailers can last a very long time if they're well maintained. And so we have a few things that we like to look forward in our trailers when we're specking them out with clients to make sure that this is going to take care of you and your family for a long period of time. At the beginning of any project, the most important thing we can do is size the proper trailer for your boat. So we want to make sure the capacity of the trailer has that to be able to haul the boat, plus fuel, plus any water, plus people, or any cargo you anticipate going on there, and we want some reserve beyond that. So capacity is very important. Secondarily, when we work with the trailer manufacturers, we'll actually send them a drawing of our vessels, our strake arrangements, our performance fins, and we'll make sure that the vessel is set up properly to the trailer and the trailer is set up properly to the vessel. What we wanna make sure is that the balance is set up to where we can get an, about 10% of the total weight of the trailer and boat together on the tongue and then make sure that our wheels and tires are supporting the center of gravity of the actual load, the boat itself, properly. So this position will be placed with the trailer manufacturer. Each trailer system is a little bit different as far as the braking system is concerned. You might have surge brakes or you might have an electric over hydraulic actuator system here. So in this one's case, inside your tow vehicle you're going to it's going to be telling this trailer system when you're braking and it's going to actuate the brakes back on the calipers so this is all controlled electronically so there's nothing really to adjust you can actually adjust how much braking is applied from inside your cab some trailers are actually supplied with a surge brake and what's actually happening here is as your truck starts to slow down this assembly here will compress inside here because the trailer and your boat are still wanting to move forward and that's actually going to actuate the trailer's brakes back here so it's independent of the truck to be able to actuate the brakes it's just a matter of this compressing and uncompressing major uh, item on your trailer you're going to want to make sure you maintain depending on how many miles you put on it every year once a year you're going to want to make sure that your bearings or actually got enough either like this one's case this is an oil bath system and you can see that the oil is up here in the three-quarter mark right as long as it's above half halfway of this you should be good to go in other trailers you're actually going to have grease packed in there and you're going to want to make sure that your grease is updated every year put a little bit more if you trailer more often you're going to want to check it more often it is paramount that before you go towing your vessel down the road that it is properly secured on the trailer using the proper straps to be able to tie your vessel down is critical so making sure you have the right capacity and that these are in proper working order with no frayed edges nothing that looks like it's been cut or split in any way so we like to make sure that we have additional securing methods beyond just your traditional bow strap here from the winch at stand or your safety chain we like to make sure we actually tie the bow down with another strap to keep it from hopping up so we'll just go back to the trailer in a down and aftward position additionally we want to make sure that the boat is sitting on the trailer properly and that the V of the hull is secured via a V block up here in the bow. At the stern of the vessel you'll have two straps coming back to the trailer. You want these straps to be coming off of the transom so that the force is applied down and forward to back to the trailer. So here we have our bow eye at the transom and then we've secured it back to the trailer in the forward position and we're going to tighten this up. Galvanized versus aluminum. So the debate is still on, but the reality is galvanized steel trailers will last you a very long time, even when used in salt water, but they need maintenance. You need to make sure you're taking care of them. And things like this, where you're starting to see rust in certain areas, you wanna clean that up and make sure you've, you've got that to stop at a certain point before it goes any further. The beautiful thing of a quality aluminum trailer is it's lighter weight, 
and it's going to last you a very long time if you maintain it properly. It still needs maintenance, but in the same regards of, of galvanized steel, you don't have to deal with that as much with aluminum. So aluminum doesn't require any additional coatings, but things you do want to look for because you are putting it in salt water and taking it back out is that you, anywhere you might see corrosion start, you want to want to clean that up over time. But aluminum is lighter weight. It does come with a price increase. Unfortunately, it is more expensive than a steel galvanized trailer, but that's what it costs to be able to have something that's going to last longer in the long run. Regardless of galvanized or aluminum, the most important thing you can do with your trailer after every use is use soap and water to rinse off the salt and, uh, as you bring it out. I mean, if you have a flushing system on your brakes, use it, flush your brakes. If you don't, make sure you get the hose and wand up into your brakes as much as you possibly can after every single use. This is going to extend the life of your trailers. Yearly, you're gonna to wanna to wax what every component you can. Maybe even boat, use Bow Shield T9, right? Or even a, uh, you know, any other sort of corrosion inhibitor, right, on any components you can. Check your wiring in case you have any frayed ends, in case anything got pinched over time because make sure before you go every time that you've got the lights are fully operational because you don't want to find yourself halfway down the road and a new ticket in your hand for something you could have fixed before it left the shop so again thank you so much for spending time with us today I'm jensen charnell with inventec marine solutions lifeproof boats happy boating <laughs>